The melee is dead. The melee is dead. <laughs> the devs use nerf gases and fried ninja to ashes. <laughs> the ninjas are dead. dead. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Lynx Cassandra, the ninja. Is she good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teamvash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's really good. Oh, she looks so darn cool, man. So darn cool. If they had a male version of this character, I would probably use it quite a bit. But anyway, let's talk about why this character actually is completely vicious compared to her pre-hero rework counterpart. So, Lynx Cassandra, she got a really, really neat new ability. Now, it's not necessarily the greatest ability ever. It might not even be, I don't know. Honestly, I think it's okay. I think, uh, I like, I want to compare her to other classes and be like, okay, well, this character is like, is she competitive as a top tier character? And honestly, she kind of is. She kind of is, because one, she's incredibly elusive with her hover capabilities. Like, because she can jump up into the air and shoot a bunch of death down into a crowd of enemies, and it, and it does kill a good chunk of enemies, let me tell you if, you, if you, if your aim is accurate, if you're really good at aiming, uh, you can kill a full group of enemies with the kunai, because it's, it's clearly been buffed, so the damage is pretty legit and then on top of that you're going to hover up in the air for like four full seconds and in that time you can easily kill a whole group of mist monsters using the 140 percent bonus damage that you're going to get which is nuts man it's nuts like if you have a good ar like a bobcat or any fast firing ar uh, you just drop everything you have into them as soon as you hit that kunai you immediately just like Melt, 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 melt. Like, as, as fast as you can hit them, you will kill them. Like the, the damage, 140% bonus damage is insane. Insane. And the cooldown isn't that bad, right? The cooldown on Kunai is not too shabby. This thing has a, a 15 second cooldown. So every 15 seconds, you can pretty much just absolutely dump on your opponents. It's like AOE clear, fly in the air, kill anything big, and then jump away <laughs> so yeah Lynx Cassandra is a nasty nasty character I gotta say I wasn't really sure about the hang time ability when I was like oh man it's probably a novelty right it looks really cool I mean when I'm running around this character I feel like I'm from the underworld I feel like a vampire from the underworld you know movie dressed in all black leather just running around the city smashing everything into dust you know she's nasty man nasty character she's very hard to catch especially you can go kind of go one of two ways you can build her with uh, assault rifle damage to really amplify that kunai storm bonus which is a super effective strategy um, or you can go with a a very good opener where you can kind of clear clear the room you can take out all of the all of the really dangerous targets that are going to put you in danger once you hit the ground um, you're going to have a huge advantage with melee you can jump in there and do a pile of damage you have your your smoke bomb backing you up and if you're smart you're going to be running with a really really good support squad to amplify the amount of healing and the uh, the you know the frequency that you can actually use it uh the ones that i use by far these are this has been the most effective uh the by far the most effective build that i've i've used is medicinal flames uh the medicinal flames heal for a shocking amount honestly it's like three ticks is pretty much your whole health bar and it's it's I, I was i was really blown away i was like wow that is so much better than it used to be like they really did pump up the ability damage of the ninja class making your abilities very effective like kunai was one of the most dumped on abilities i've ever reviewed before um it was just garbage and, um, and I'm not going to say that it's a great ability now, but the fact that you can jump over a group of enemies and kill them if your aim is tight, uh, pretty solid, man. Pretty solid. 
I mean, before it was hit or miss. You'd go right over top of enemies. You'd throw your 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 daggers down into the, into the group, and you just kind of hope that stuff gets hit. Hope that things die. Now it really does a lot better coverage, and it really clears out um, a solid group of enemies. And then being able to float up in the air for four seconds and just do absolutely laser beam power damage with an assault rifle. You're just like, oh my gosh, wow, like the power. You can feel the power behind this character, and not more if more than just the power, the the fun factor of of that flight. It really takes this character into a very special direction that no other character has ever experienced before. Now there is uh, some other really really neat things that you can do if you're using mobility with soaring mantis. You can uh, you can triple jump around. You can jump jump jump, and then uh, if you have the the spectral blade you can use your spectral blade to uh, reset your your jumpers so you can do a triple jump then you can use your blade to do a small blink strike forward and then triple jump again from midair and you can pretty much cover you can jump over an entire city like this which is just crazy you know it really gives the ninjas some interesting um, options like it's whether or not that's effective in combat in combat scenarios is debatable but is it fun oh man it, it's one of the most fun things you'll ever do <laughs> it is super entertaining you cover the entire map within seconds you can fly through the air while all your friends are jealous and just basically laugh so my optimal build is definitely running with assault critical damage and assault damage that way you really make the most of your kunai storm you get those four seconds in the air to do massive, massive damage. You get 140% bonus, plus 17% bonus, plus 75 on the crits, and you can pretty much just wipe out blasters, smashers, you know, whatever you need to kill is you guarantee you're gonna kill it if you're aim if you can aim from the from the sky, those targets are gonna die. <laughs> so then for your survivability, you definitely want to use medicinal flames and reduce the cooldown very important to reduce the cooldown uh, the cooldown on on the smoke bomb is not great but uh, getting an 18 percent cooldown reduction is very important it allows you to use it more often allows you to get that heal and also jumping into a group of enemies and getting that damage you know very effective and then i like to use kunihilation to make sure that your kunai storm does that extra amount of damage uh, this also hit, meets the three ninja requirement to unlock the Soren Mantis. So, extremely effective ability. But you do have some other options, right? You don't have to go with the Soren Mantis. The Soren Mantis is largely um, entertaining. It's not, necessary, uh, not necessarily the best ability. Uh, Endless Shadow is much, much more effective. Uh, if you're running with the Endless Shadow you can actually build this character very very differently you can actually decide to be a melee class because with uh, with the endless shadow you have a shadow stance that just seems to last forever so if you kill something with a with a melee weapon then uh yeah you're pretty much set up right the shadow stance activates every time you eliminate something with melee and as long as you have that shadow stance you know in effect you're going to be packing a huge amount of extra armor, a huge amount of extra movement speed. This is going to allow you to jump into battle with melee and absolutely tear it up. So in that case, you could choose to switch out your assault damage and your assault crit, and you could put in um, assassination and sword damage, right? That way you have a massive, massive, massive sword attack bonus, and you can just run into battle uh, just tearing things to pieces and then as soon as you took enough damage you still felt yourself starting to get into danger you could drop the medicinal flames heal yourself back up to full and then run back into battle again you got kunihilation right there in case uh, you need to jump up into the air throw your stuff down and then just start shooting into the crowd to to clear out some of the enemies giving you time to drop back into battle and then just continue waging war so you've got like a few different strategies that work really extremely well on links um Personally, I prefer the assault rifle because range, right? Range is very reliable. It's uh, it, you don't put yourself in danger as much. You're not uh, risking taking a lot of hits, and especially if you're 
fighting against you know some really really nasty one shot kill enemies like groups of gunslingers and blasters and takers uh, that's where where Lynx is going to struggle because she doesn't have a ton of hit points or armor compared to other classes unless her uh, her shadow shadow is up um, yeah you got to make sure that you kind of keep yourself safe and you can't heal yourself if you're dead right <laughs> anyway guys um yeah Lynx cassandra is she good yeah she's pretty good man she's a lot of fun she's a very effective character uh, she gives you a super super fun experience that you're not going to experience with any other character <laughs> all right migs how's this for how's this for a review video <laughs> <laughs> this is all part of the review mix. All right, so welcome to um, Superman Lynx. I mean, uh, uh, Lynx, Lynx Cassandra. She is the, the superhero of this game. She, uh, she can fly. <laughs> she soars across the city like a superhero, doing great justice for all. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. Yeah, so she's a nasty, nasty piece of work, man. She, uh... Hey, guys, what's going on? What are you doing to that poor guy there? Please! Ninja Stars, Kunai Assault, Triple Jump. Just an absolute monster character. You can always throw up your uh, your Spectral Blade to reset your uh, your connection to the ground so that you can keep on jumping. As long as you have enough energy, it doesn't cost any energy to jump. It only costs energy to use your sword. So you can eventually, you can essentially just like fly over the map. Yeah. And you can cross the whole map if you want. Get away from me, husks! <laughs> As you can see, you can kunai strike people and then hang up in the air for four seconds doing a massive, massive damage bonus. Just disgusting power. Got one! You can use your, uh, if you take a bunch of damage, like this. Oh no, I'm hurt. A rough time oh. now. Oh, too much damage. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I forgot. I'm f I forgot I'm fighting energy enemies. <laughs> they drained off my... I'm like, that's weird. Why didn't my ability work? Right, they're energy. Energy vampires. <laughs> I went to use my... Showcase my smoke, but I forgot. Can't smoke if you have no energy. Let that, let that be a lesson, you kids. Don't smoke. <laughs> hey there, big guy. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that was some bullets. Can't. <laughs> Nope. Big blue monk! 
monster here. Now blue. Ready, Migs? Like that? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> And you're like, please fly, please. I'm coming over. He's big, he's blue, and he's here to wreck our walls. Round Maybe two, not. fight. Defend the van. Oh, means how do I get up on the roof? I don't know how. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment down below if there's any other reviews you'd like me to cover. All right, guys, catch you guys next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Dash. Thanks, guys.